Hello, my YouTube friends. Dave Wilson uh, here for another exciting episode of Dave's Basement. Uh, anyway, it's been a tough week, but I'm really happy now I've got something working. It's the first night in over probably a week, 10 days, I've had all three printers running. Um, I've been working on a new mount system for my Omnidrop and uh, found it on, uh, I think, YouTube and then Thingiverse. Uh, a gentleman uh, came up with a universal quick change mount, and his idea was being able to switch lasers, uh, CNC, different types of things quickly on a 3D printer. I'm using it so I can remove and swap my Omni mounts very quickly, and I've never been happy with the mount I've had before. This is the first time it's actually been printing. It took me a week just to get it to the point that it is right now because there's two pieces. Um, so this is printing a new fan for my Omnidrop. This one's printing a new mount uh, for the quick change. And this one um, is printing a ghost. I'm not sure if any of you folks have ever let your significant other look at Thingiverse, but since my wife found out about it, she likes to pick things up for me to print. This is a ghost, and she always finds the things that are the most difficult. Supports, uh, you've got to be placed on her side, etc. So it's always a challenge when she comes up with something. But this is the mounting system. So this part goes on the linear rails. It mounts this way. And th these are, this is an early version that didn't quite work. Um, Easy Able would go right here. And then this is for my uh, belts. Um, Max from uh, Omnia or Drop Effect gave me a good idea. I was using plastic. He said, go ahead and use some bolts. So I was putting them in from the top. This, I think, works a lot better putting them in from the bottom. And I have some inserts, so once I get this the way I want it to, I'll probably use some brass inserts. But this is the part that the Omnia Drop mounts on, and it just drops in there. And then a clip turns that locks it in place. Sorry, I never really have a script, I just sort of do these things. But this part right here just locks in place and pivots and unlocks and pivots and locks. So it's just a fantastic idea. <clears throat> so I've got a new system on order of uh, Exoslide. So I'm going to try to replace the linear rails on this one with Exoslide. And the nice part is then I'll be able to make a mount for the Exoslide. So hopefully the same unit will just drop into that mount. So I'm really excited about the way this works. Now, I can just flip this, and then I can do three cables, and the Easy Able stays on the, the printer. So it's very quick to um, change, to work on it. Or in my case, what I'm going to do is actually um, have different uh, head assemblies with different nozzle sizes. So that's my intention. Um, the other thing I was really excited to get done, it took me quite a while, my brother gave me this uh, media center. So he, the company he used to work for was uh, disposing of hundreds of these. So he obtained one and took it all apart. And I met him in Effingham, Illinois, and put it in a, a pickup truck and brought it home. It was all in pieces, so I had to find the assembly instructions. But it's a pretty neat unit, and uh, it really is stable. And these things were over $1,000 a piece when they were new. But um, that's all the updates for right now. Uh, thanks for watching. And please leave any comments. I'm going to put a couple things in Thingiverse on these mounts because I think it's really a neat idea. And um, it's still not perfect on my end yet, but it's getting close. Thank you.